Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to request Mr. Marcus Husky, Banknote Printing Community, to say his uh, speech. Thank you very much. Sir BP Vijayendra, Principal Chief General Manager, Reserve Bank of India, Apna Tutu Shamrito, excellent book to Bopus Tapani Juno. Amiber Binitori Rajanachi, book to Bopus Tapani Juno, Mr. Mark S. Husky, Banknote Printing Community, Sir Avnike. Thank you. Honorable Chairman of the Seminar, the Honorable Minister, His Excellency Mr. Manon, Member of Parliament, Honorable Special Guests, your Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, the Honourable Chief Observer, the Honourable Delegates from ICAS and IACA, Overseas Central Banks, the Banknote Printing Community, United Nations Development Bank, the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, the Asian Development Bank, the Islamic Development Bank, the Central Bank of Bangladesh, the local commercial banks, Members of the press, dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. First and foremost, I would like to thank the organisers for giving me the opportunity to make this short speech here today in such a unique international seminar. It is a great privilege and a great pleasure for me to do so. It is especially rewarding that on this very day in 1971, I started my career in the fascinating world of banknote printing and security printing. So to introduce myself further, I am Mark Husky. I'm a regional director of the Swiss-based company KBA Notices. Our company is privileged, very privileged, that 90% of the world's banknotes and currencies are printed using our equipment and our services and therefore we can say we have some experience in the world of banknote design and anti-counterfeiting and as we all know counterfeiting now is a worldwide problem a problem that is faced by all central banks banknotes are an essential part of our lives each and every one of us comes into contact with our product of a banknote printer nearly every day and as such we are all at risk to exposure from counterfeit banknotes and something that central banks spend a lot of time and a lot of effort in developing anti-counterfeiting measures to protect the central banks and to protect you, the public. It is therefore advisable that public and workers in banks should be educated in their banknotes, know the banknotes, how they are designed, and more importantly, which are the elements of security elements that they should be looking for. As we've already heard this morning, security elements are in three levels, three basic levels. The overt feature, level one, which is for you, the public, to look and to feel. The second level is for using some sort of small device to check that the banknote is real. And the third level is the forensic level to protect the central banks and the public even further. While it is agreed that a certain level of these security features should be introduced into each banknote, it is very important that the public are aware of each of those security features so they can do their part, play their role in stopping the circulation of counterfeit banknotes. Counterfeit banknotes do a lot of economical damage to countries. They weaken this country's uh, uh, currency and do damage to the reputation of the central bank. The banknote, don't forget, is a visiting card for your country. When people come, they pick the banknote, they see your country in the banknote. And it is very important that everybody takes a pride and some education in how their banknote is made. This seminar is both important and very timely, not only for Bangladesh. I feel that this type of seminar has its place in every country of the world because we are all suffering from the same problems. 
The seminars such as these can become a milestone in our industry and education for people around the world who come into daily contact with our products should be something we all wish for. And I wish this conference every luck in that. To organise such a conference is a big task and it needs someone to drive to organise such a successful conference. And I would like to thank Dr Jalal, the world known current technologist, for having organised this conference and allowing me to introduce myself to you. I give you my heartfelt thanks and congratulations and I thank you all and wish you all a successful conference. Thank you.